Hello all, and welcome to another video on my channel, and in this video, I will be explaining how Momoji was ruined by both Koei Techmo and Team Ninja, as in my opinion, I felt that the character was a shell of her former self, now before I start this video I just want to say, that this video will be based off of my opinion, and my opinion alone. So feel free to type in how you feel about this video in the comments selection below. Also I just want to say that, if you like what you see, then feel free to subscribe and share this channel with anyone you know. Now let's get started. Now when I first started playing with Momoji, it was around the time that Dead or Alive 5 last round was still a game that recently came onto the PS4 and Xbox One. So I was really new with the character and the game itself. However, what really made me look at character in an interesting way was not only her costume which was really fire, but her mid-range movement and her ability to open up her opponent whilst using both her holds and striking as moves such as her 10 frame jab that was 12 on counter hit and was very useful for me to open up my opponent. Her H plus K, a 12 frame move that I mostly used to stop my opponent's momentum whilst preventing them performing any rush down moves. Her 66 plus PP, or Momage's 25 frame elbow plus SHOULDER string, another move that I used to open up my opponent, however was a move that was very cautious, as players could still block the unsafe shoulder string on block. Her 66 plus K, a 51 frame move, that does not only reward you with a level 1 critical stun on your opponent that not only could extend towards high damaged strings on your opponent, but could also lead to a really cool throw animation that does a decent amount of damage. Her 4 plus P, a 14 frame mid range move which was one of my favorite critical stun moves I like to use, as I use this to not only keep players like Ayane in check, but was a very useful to whiff punish, holds, strikes and throws on counter hit for a good chunk of damage, and was safe on block at minus 3. The 2 plus P, a useful 12 frame round ender, that I only use to continue, or finish my opponent turn on counter hit, and one of the most powerful moves in her arsenal. That being Momage's 2 plus HK 26 frame that not only gives out a critical sit down stun, but gives out a guaranteed level 3 critical stun that gives out a guaranteed combo damage when followed up with 66 plus PP. Now combine all these moves she has with her powerful and strong throw game, and we have a very interesting but strong character. However, in Dead or Alive 6, Everything changed, as when the game was announced, everyone wanted to see both Momoji and Rachel, as they were in everyone's opinion, the only DLC characters from Ninja Gaiden that people wanted to see in the new installment, as part of the original cast before the game launched. Now, I did make two videos on this topic, so I won't go into too much detail about this, however, I will go into detail about why I don't like her in Dead or. Alive 6. Now I understand that Koei Techmo wanted a cash grab with Momiji because she was so popular, so I will be only talking about her moveset, as this is the only problem that I haven't really ranted about. Now in Dead or Alive 6 I did feel that Momiji was nerfed quite heavily, as moves such as 2H plus K was nerfed, as this move couldn't sit down critical stun, meaning that her damage potential she had was gone with the only benefit being that this move can now guard break and is only plus to on block, on top of that her 14 frame mid 4 plus P was now minus 10 on block and couldn't even critical stun your opponent, with the only benefit being that this move had an extended string that was useless due to Momiji exposing her back as Momiji is facing her back forwards. But besides that Momoji felt more out of place in my eyes however, if Dead or Alive 7 ever does come out within the near future, I just wanna say this, if you ever have a character that is widely popular, 
Don't bother try and bring out a character that was at best a mid tier. Hold the character hostage, then give us a nerfed version of that character for no reason as DLC, because no one will play with that character, as players will start to realize that that character is just a shadow of their former self. Now I know that this video was a long the coming, however, I just wanted to get this video out there, as I feel that little to no one really spoke out about this. Anyways thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and in a bit.